Okay, so here's an osmotic pressure calculation. And um, well, actually, we're given the osmotic pressure and we're asked to calculate the Van Hoff factor. And the Van Hoff factor appears in the osmotic pressure equation. In fact, all the colligative property equations, it's this I here right front. What it does is it basically accounts for the fact that all the colligative properties depend on total concentration of stuff in solution. And when you've got something that's ionic, it breaks down. And so if you've got something that breaks down into two pieces or three pieces, you got to remember when you dissolve them in solution, you've got twice as many or three times as many particles as before it dissolved. So um, we're asked to calculate the Van Hoff factor. And there's a couple of ways we can do this, actually. One way is we can simply sort of plug and chug away. We could rearrange our equation. And we can say... You know, we're looking for the calcium chloride here. So we can say, let's just take um, what's given in the problem, the calcium chloride's uh, osmotic pressure. So that's 0 0.605 atmospheres. And divide that by a couple of things. So one is the molar concentration, 0 0.010. And I'm going to write it as moles over liters because that shows the units canceling easier. R is the gas constant, so again, 0 0.08206, and that's got units of atmosphere liters per mole Kelvin. And our temperature is 25 degrees C, and we remember to add 273 to get Kelvin temperatures, and that's 298. That's actually a pretty common temperature. That's one that normally I just kind of memorize that conversion. Want to look at our units? And we got atmospheres top and bottom. Uh, we got liters here and here. We got moles here and here. We got Kelvin here and here. So you can see that the units are all canceling out. And it's just giving you a number. And when you calculate that number, it is 2.47. And actually, given that our concentration was only good to two significant figures, we probably really can't write it any better than two and a half. Um, so what's that telling us here? Um, that's telling us that the calcium chloride, uh, when it's dissolving, it's breaking down into two and a half ions. Which is kind of a surprise because we would expect when we dissolve it for it to break down into three things. We'd expect it to break down into a calcium and a chloride and another chloride. And so presumably... Theoretically, I should be 3. And the question, of course, is how come it's only 2.5? And, and the answer is ion pairing. And so what happens, of course, is when you add calcium chloride into a solution, it does break down. In fact, uh, here we go. Here's my bucket. I'm adding it in. Do, 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 do. Okay, the calcium is going to form um, a calcium 2 plus, and it's going to form a chloride and a chloride. Okay, now let's say we go ahead and we add, say, a second calcium chloride, and it'll dissolve and it'll make a calcium and a chloride and another chloride. But the thing is, is that these ions can't really get super far apart from each other. In fact, what we can find is that the calcium ion, let's say, can end up fairly close to the chloride ion in solution. And when it does this, it's actually going to stick together slightly. Okay, I mean, the solution's constantly molecules of water jostling around and breaking and reforming these things. But this is, if you remember what we said in class, this is what we call an ion pair. And so we might say, well, I is the number of things that it's breaking down into compared to how many we started with. And, of course, we started with two calcium chlorides. And how many things did it break down into? Well, a calcium, a chloride, a chloride, a chloride. So that's four ions. And then these two ions are really acting as a single ion, okay, an ion pair. So it really broke down into five things. You can see as they stick together, there's fewer particles, and that gives us a Van Hoff factor of two and a half. And so it's actually just a complete coincidence. It comes out exactly the same, but you can see by ion pairing, you're reducing the total number of things in solution.